Now let me introduce the concept of perpendicular lines. These two lines here, the red line and the blue line, are perpendicular. And what does that mean? Well, it means that wherever they intersect, they form a 90 degree angle right here. That's 90 degrees right there. And the most important thing for us here in uh, coordinate geometry is to realize that perpendicular lines are going to have slopes that are the negative reciprocals of one another. That's really important. The negative reciprocal. And I'll explain that and hopefully it will make perfect sense to you. Let's start with this blue line. What is, what is the slope of the blue line? Well, if we go from here to right there, the run is 2 and the rise is 1. So the slope of this line, of the blue line, is just half. Rise over run. What about the slope of the red line? We go from here, down 2 units, and over 1 unit. So the rise over the run will be negative 2 over 1. It's negative because it goes down, so it's a negative rise. And we can simplify that just as negative 2. So negative 2 is the negative reciprocal of half. Why is that? What is the reciprocal of half? It's just 2 over 1, right? What is the negative reciprocal of half? Well, it'll be just negative 2 over 1. So every time that we can just flip the fraction and switch the signal, that will be the negative reciprocal of the original fraction. And these slopes are perpendicular. So let me give you a few more examples. Let's say I have m and perpendicular m right here. If I have a slope of 1, what is the negative reciprocal of 1? Well, if I just flip the 1, I'll just get 1. And the negative reciprocal of 1 will be just negative 1. That's simple. And why is the reciprocal of 1 just 1? Because if I flip the fraction and 1 is just 1 over 1, if I flip it, it will remain the same. That's the reciprocal. And of course, for the negative reciprocal, we just switch the signal. But I, what if I had something like 3 over 2? The reciprocal of 3 over 2 is 2 over 3. And the negative reciprocal, of course, is negative 2 over 3. Now let me just quickly show what these two slopes would look like over here. And a slope of 3 over 2 would look like this. There we go. Why is that? Because we go over by 2 units and up by 3 units. So the rise over the run is 3 over 2. Excellent. Now let's intersect this line with another line an orange line that has a slope of negative 2 over 3. I'm actually going to start over here somewhere. One second. I just had the right function on my graph or on my software. There we go. So from this point we're going 2 units down and 3 units over. So the slope is negative 2 over 3. And you can see that these lines form a 90 degree angle right here. So they are perpendicular lines. So every time you see this expression, just perpendicular lines, you know that the slopes are going to be negative reciprocals. That's it.